Okay guys, this is number 44, which is the second AutoCAD drawing. As you can see, I have my layers set up here. Um, I'm just using my Imperial drawing. Remember I told you guys to make this and don't save over it. That way you don't have to set up layers every single time. If you need to set up layers, you can go in uh, using this button here and reset up your layers. Remember to load hidden to and center to for your two um, your two separate line types there and make sure your construction lines are yellow the others can be whatever you want except yellow white or black white doesn't print and black won't show up on your screen so we're going to be on the construction layer and we are going to go to the construction line which is the thing with two arrowheads I'm going to click and if it's not going straight press F8 F8 makes it go straight click pull it to the right click right click to terminate the command this corner here represents the lower left hand corner of the front view so now I need to know the width of the front view I'm going to type in offset and the distance of the front view in this one is actually the diameter of the big arc and the big circle that the arc is formed from, the radius is 2, which means the diameter is 4. So I'm going to put in 4, click, click to the right, enter. I can press enter a second time to recycle the command so I don't have to type in offset every single time. Put in 1.25 for the distance in between. Click, click to the right, enter. Enter a second time, again, so I don't have to type in offset three times and now the width of the side view is 1.5 so there are my offsets and enter those are my offsets going to the right now I need to do them up and down so I can either press enter or I can right click and pick repeat offset the height of this thing is 0.75 plus 0.75 plus 2 which is three and a half Right, and then enter twice to recycle the command and I'm going to offset this line 1.25 enter enter and then the width of the top view which is 1.5 I know that my drawing is right because I have a perfect square here and a perfect square here if these don't make perfect squares I know I've done something wrong the next step is to switch to the object layer click on line make sure object snap is turned on that's this little guy down here you can right click on him and look at the settings I'm gonna keep endpoint center quadrant and intersection on and keep everything else off for right now I may need tangent you know what I'll put tangent on because I may need that later tell it okay and outline my boxes right click enter again you can recycle a command by right clicking so you don't have to go click on line every single time right click enter right click repeat line right click enter and we're done I'm going to turn off my construction layer by clicking on the light bulb next to it and there is the outline for my object layer. I'm going to start in my front view so I'm going to offset this bottom line up 0.75 to give it that little shelf thing that's there and now I'm going to do the center of the two circles these circles are concentric and I can tell that because the center lines start from the middle of the little one and go all the way out to the big one so I'm going to offset 0.75 again so I don't have to change it enter click the line click above it enter to recycle the command again I can press enter another time or I can right click I'm gonna press enter and the center of this thing is half of the diameter which is the radius so that's two and there is the center of my two circles so I'm gonna come up here to circle I'm gonna use center radius because it gives me the radius of the big one click on the X type in the radius which is 2 now I'm gonna go circle center diameter come to the center click and then the diameter of that little circle is 1 and now I'm gonna trim 
For those of you who like to use the uh, the ribbon, trim is actually right here. It's the thing that looks like a division sign, I guess. But I'm going to type it in. And I am going to select the outside of this box. I'm going to right click because now, I, before I right clicked, that was setting the boundaries. And I'm going to get rid of this stuff down here because I just don't need it right click enter now I need to trim these pieces away so again I can right click repeat trim click the arc as your boundary right click and now click the lines that you want to trim if it won't let you trim a line it means that you have to delete it because it's it's lacking a second boundary alright so then I'm gonna get rid of these lines by just clicking on them and deleting them because they're kinda in my way and now I'm going to work on the top view. I see this little shelf in the top view. It sits back 0.75. And the reason I know that is it tells me that the thickness over here is 0.75. So the thickness up here has to be 0.75. Offset, 0.75. Bring it back. I might as well get this one while I'm at it. There we go. And now I'm going to project my circles on my hidden layer. Do I have to project the arc? No. The arc is just going to appear flat. But what I do need to know is where is the circle? Does the circle go all the way through or does the circle go from here back? Well, it goes from here back because this part here is just a, a little shelf that sticks out. That's why we have three views in a drawing, guys, so we know where they go. Find my quadrant. Remember, diamonds are a girl's best friend when she's projecting circles in AutoCAD. So we're going to do line, right click, repeat line. Might as well go both ways here while I'm in hidden line mode. And now what do we do after we draw? We trim. Type in trim. My boundary is going to be here and here. I don't need these hidden lines anywhere else. You know, right click, trim away. Remember you can draw a box to get a bunch of them at the same time right click repeat trim oops actually I only want them here so I'm gonna I may have to come back and do something else right click yeah we're gonna have to go get those guys so I pressed enter I'm gonna repeat trim and I'm gonna use this as the boundary right click and then get the ones I didn't get by mistake okay now I also know that I need to project this line over to make the shelf. Okay, So now I need to trim this. It looks like an L from the side view. So we're going to do some trimming. Type in trim. Pick this line. Pick this line. Right click. Get rid of this. Get rid of this right click enter back to trim right click repeat trim click this guy right click get this guy right click enter right click repeat trim I need to get rid of these two lines here because it looks like an L It doesn't have a box next to it so this is going to be a boundary and this is going to be a boundary then right click get this get that enter and now aside from our center lines we're done so I'm gonna change to my center layer click on line come to the center of the circle project that bad boy up right click enter right click repeat line and we're going across right click enter now we know center lines stick out an eighth of an inch so I'm going to offset my lines an eighth of an inch type in offset 0.125 click this line up this line down, this line this way, this line that way, enter, and now we trim. Use those lines you just created as the boundaries, right click, enter, right click, repeat trim, right click, get rid of what you want, right click, enter and now you can click the lines that we just created and delete them so 
Now all we need to do is dim center over here and we're good. So I'm going to go to annotate. I'm going to click on this down arrow next to direct dimensions. Go to modify. Under symbols and arrows tab, make sure it says line. Tell it OK. Close. Go back to home. Make sure I'm on my center layer. Type in dim center, all one word. I'm going to actually click on the big arc because these guys share a center. And there's your drawing. So let's go to the dims layer. Go to text, single line text. Click somewhere near your top view. I'm putting in 0.2 for my height because for some reason my height says 5, point, uh, says five inches. Um, you guys should just be able to press enter twice here. Okay, and then type your name, enter twice again. All right, so to do that, I'll do it one more time where I don't have to change the size of the text. Click on single line, click, enter twice, type your name, press enter twice, and you're done.